Welcome everybody for coming. We are um, being joined by Kazuki Takeda, who is an undergraduate student at Kyoto University. Um, Kazuki is going to share with us a session titled Comfortable Sakai, UX Enhancement of the Sakai LMS from Student's Perspective. Hello, my name is Kazuki Takeda. I'm in a department of electrical engineering at Kyoto University in Japan. And I'm now an um, undergraduate student at Kyoto University. It's my first time presenting at Open Apparel, so I'm so nervous. And my English is not good, but I'll try my best. So today I'm going to present Comfortable Sakai a UX enhancement of the Sakai LMS from student's perspective. Here's our agenda for today. First, I'll talk about the background of developing Comfortable Sakai. And then I'll talk about the development of Comfortable Sakai. And finally, I'll talk about the um, future of Comfortable Sakai extension. So first, the background of Comfortable Sakai. Well, Comfortable Sakai is a web browser extension for um, enhancing the user experience of Sakai LMS. This extension is developed as open source software and is available at GitHub. Here's, um, here's the link to the GitHub repository. And this Comfortable Sakai extension works with many major modern web browsers, such as um, Google Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Safari. And the Comfortable Sakai extension is used by 60 to 70% of students in Kyoto University. So the reason why I decided to develop this extension was because we had many pain points of Sakai LMS for students at Kyoto University. LMS usage has been rapidly increased since COVID-19. In my case, I had two, course, two courses per semester that was using Sakai LMS before COVID-19. But during COVID-19, we had 10 to 20 courses that was using Sakai as a tool to submit assignment. And as for the number of submissions of assignment, before COVID-19, we had four submissions per semester, but during COVID-19, we had more than uh, 60 submissions of assignments per semester. And the another pain point was Sakai does not provide the means to check a list of all assignments for all course sites. So we had to check every course site to see if the assignment is published or not. And sometimes I missed assignments. So I was using um, another task management tool to keep track of each assignment status. And that was kind of painful for me. So I, I had to do something to deal with these problems. So uh, here's the requirements to reduce these pain points. To re re reduce these pain points. First, we need to have an aggregated list of assignments, meaning that the list of all assignments that is published within Sakai. And there has to be an easy way to see the status of each assignment. And last but not least, and this one is very important. It has to be easy to install, use, and maintain for students. So I decided to make the extension named Comfortable Panda and release this extension for Kyoto University back in May 2020. This Panda is the name of Sakai LMS at Kyoto University. And we've got, and I've got many positive comments from users community. Um, here, here's the comments. 
such as it's so nice to have a list of all assignments. It saved me a lot of time. And like, I can't live without your comfortable panda. So um, here's the graph showing the number of active users of comfortable Sakai, no, comfortable panda extension. So since the release, the first release in May, Since the first release in May, sorry, my microphone got away. Okay, so since the first release in May, the number of active users are continuously increasing, and right now we have about we have about sixty five hundred active users as of May two thousand twenty two, and this is over sixty percent of students in Kyoto University are using this extension. And also this Comfortable Panda extension is, has been officially recognized as a third party tool by the central IT organization at Kyoto University. And this extension got some requests to use the, and you, you use the extension from other university students. So I decided to develop the Comfortable Sakai extension. So from now, I'll talk about the de development of Comfortable Sakai. Um, here's the requirements beyond Comfortable Panda. Comfortable Sakai is inheriting many useful features from Comfortable Panda. I'll talk about the useful features later on. And the Comfortable Sakai is easy to use with any Sakai LMS instances at other in institutions. It's not just only for Kyoto University, it works with any other Sakai LMS instances. And it supports multiple languages. As of now, we are supporting English and Japanese, and we are planning to add more languages to support in the near future. And this extension, Comfortable Sakai, is also available at every extension store of supported web browser. But there's an issue that the release to each store is still depending on me. So um, in the near future, we are going to try to resolve this issue. OK, so um, I'll introduce the um, three main features that is inherited from Comfortable Panda. And this feature is also available in Comfortable Sakai. The first feature is colored course site tabs. The second is notification badge. And the third feature is mini Sakai. Okay, so let's take a look at the first feature, which is colored course site tabs. Um, if we install Comfortable Sakai extension, the course tabs are colored with red, yellow, green. As you can see in this image, the tabs are colored with um, these colors. And these colors are according to the number of days until due date, assignment due date. For example, chemistry is colored with red, meaning that the chemistry has an assignment that is due within one day. And as for Algebra 1 and French, it's colored in yellow, meaning that they have assignments that is due within one to five days. And the same thing is with Visual Arts and Computer Science. They have assignments that is due within five to 14 days. I decided to use this color to be intuitive for users. And the next feature I'm, that I'm going to introduce is noti notification badge. Um, this notification badge is displayed when a new assignment is published. For example, if you can see the um, image on the upper right, we have um, the image before the assignment is published. And when a new assignment is published in Algebra 1 and Computer Science, the notification badge is displayed in the upper left-hand corner of each tab. 
this um, small, nice um, red dot is the notification badge. And by adding this, students will less often miss unannounced assignments and are easy to recognize the new assignment. And the third feature that I'm going to introduce is Mini Sakai. And this is um, one of the greatest features of Comfortable Sakai. Uh, Mini Sakai is a side panel list that shows aggregated list of assignments. So going back to the slide, we have um, this hamburger box in the um, hamburger button in the upper right hand corner of Sakai LMS. If you click on this button, you will get the, you will pop open the mini Sakai uh, list. So in this mini Sakai list, it displays all assignments and quizzes sorted by its due date. So like chemistry, algebra one and French. And it also has checkboxes to manage submission status. So in this image, we have algebra one checked, meaning that the students have finished the finished submitting the assignment of algebra one. And this open source, uh, this comfortable Sakai is developed as an open source software and is available at GitHub public repository. Here's uh, the screenshot and um, the QR code and the link to the repository. So if you are interested in using this extension, please feel free to um, look at this repository. And also there is a documentation for developing this comfortable Sakai extension. And the documentation is available at GitHub pages. Um, here's the link to the GitHub pages and a screenshot of the documentation. We have provided a quick guide for development and installation, as well as the explanation of the feature and the project structure. And this comfortable Sakai extension is available in the browser extension store. It supports um, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, and Safari. And the source code is also available at GitHub repository. Okay, so next I'll talk about the opportunities and concerns of comfortable Sakai. And as for opportunities of Comfortable Sakai, currently the Comfortable Sakai is focusing on assignment related features. This diagram is showing the relationship of Comfortable Sakai uh, as a user's platform to enhance. And right now we have uh, mainly the assignment enhancement features built onto Comfortable Sakai. But this comfortable Sakai can be used as a foundation to add other useful features. So feature enhancement can, build, can be built onto comfortable Sakai extension. And this comfortable Sakai extension can be used with any Sakai LMS instances. So if you built um, the feature enhancement onto Sakai, comfortable Sakai, other universities, universities and institutions can use the feature enhancement as well as assignment enhancement built onto comfortable Sakai. So students can benefit from these features just by installing the extension. So concluding the opportunities of comfortable Sakai, by using Comfortable Sakai extension as a platform of users to develop the tools, it can lead to collaborative student-led enhancement of Sakai LMS. For example, having an annual apparel sponsored festival 
collaborated with capstone courses at Sakai schools might be a good way to enhance Sakai might be a good way to enhance Sakai from students' perspective. And also de developed features can be used across other Sakai LMS instances. The point is that there's no need to update or restart Sakai instance itself. What you need is a just one click to install the extension. And for the concerns of comfortable Sakai, um, sustainable project re resources for development and maintenance is still short. Core students, core student developers like me will graduate in a year, but students' eyes are mandated for future development. The way for reincarnation of student developers is still unclear. And also continuous responsibilities for user, co user community is remaining. We are already receiving several pull requests, which is called contributions from user co community. So we have to be responsible for checking each pull request and accepting and dec declining those changes. And we need a collaborator for the comfortable Sakai extension. For you user, so we, we need a collaborators as a user who requests a new features and reports bugs. And we need a developer who adds new features and fixes bugs of comfortable Sakai. And we need an institution who officially supports comfortable Sakai on their campuses. And we also need the official community for Comfortable Sakai. Currently, we are planning to apply for an incubation process to launch an official APIA project of Comfortable Sakai. And we are looking for at least three APIA member institutions to meet the criterion of incubation process. So if anyone is interested in um, collaborating with us or developing or developing comfortable Sakai, please contact us. And thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions or would like to collaborate with us, please contact us in the following e email. We are welcome for your participation. Thank you for listening. Okay, so questions from Adam Howards. Sorry if I mispronounced. What if you have more courses than will fit in your navigation, but very color code the side drawer? Um, so if you have more courses, we have a feature that um, adds more tabs to the, um, ex the navigation bar. Um, so, let me go back to the slide. So if um, the institution of the LMS is limiting the number of tabs that is showing on the um, navigation bar, we have a feature that um, extends the number of tabs that can be shown to here. So it will be colored with the um, side drawer as well. A question from Marty. Is there a reason you decided to build this as a web browser extension instead of as a new core feature within Sakai? Yes, the reason why I developed this extension as a web browser extension is that, uh, first of all, the Sakai itself is written with Java and I have no knowledge about Java. So um, the development with Java was quite difficult for me. But the extension, this uh, comfortable Sakai extension is uh, written with um, TypeScript language. So it's kind of easy to write compared with Java. And that's the first reason. 
And the second reason is that, um, as I said in this slide, we needed to um, restart the Sakai instance, Sakai instance itself in order to um, apply the changes for the um, feature. So this was um, taking time and has to um, be like precise. So I decided to develop this as a web browser extension. So, um, the next question from Elm. I don't know how to pronounce, sorry. Do students need support with this extension? If something got, if something does not work correctly, how does, how do they report it? How is it, fit? how is it supported? Um, some students may need support, but we have a Q&A website um, for the support. And also we have a contact email if um, the student need further support assistance. There's a unified date manager for instructors and future tools will be likely to graft into that. Perhaps the date manager could be reworked with read-only access for, for students to enable the tool to use that as its source of data. Oh, I didn't know that they have um, ma manager tool for instructors. But I guess it would be great to have um, read-only features for students if that is um, capable, I guess. Um, question from Mr. Marty. Have any users had accessibility issues? Like the colors are difficult to distinguish between the orange dot is hard to see. I could potentially see some colors being difficult to see when the dark mode is enabled. Yeah, we've actually got problem with the color. So um, I'm going back to the slide here. Um, these red, yeah, red, yellow, and green, and especially um, red and green are difficult for some students to distinguish. So we have a feature that the users can customly change the each color. Um, the description, I guess the, um, the descriptions for that feature is posted on the GitHub repository, but the users can change the these colors by their cells. Yes, we have features for that. And we also support the dark theme. In the um, mini Sakai settings menu, it's small, but we have settings tabs in the mini Sakai. And if you go through, go here, you can toggle, off, you, you, you can um, toggle off and on the dark mode for mini Sakai as well. A uh, comment from Mr. Dave Eveland. I really appreciate the student perspective in the development of the future. Yes, I think so too. Um, Sakai LMS would be more better if um, they have like students perspective in the development of the Sakai LMS. So. I agree with that. We need at least three apparel member institutions for um, launching this as an incubation process. So um, who should institutions contact about the incubation process? Okay, so please contact Sh Shoji Kajita. Email is right here if you have interest in a project. <laughs> 